What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Hayward here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. And it is, of course, Too Many Games Take Over Time. So, yes, we went to Too Many Games over the Friday of last weekend. It was a pretty awesome time. We got a lot of really cool things, and some of the things I thought were going to make a pretty decent video. So, what do we got today? Well, we've got this box. Yeah. See, this is the large mystery box. A little 2XL action. It was 50 bucks at Too Many Games, so I figured, you know what? You know, we'd make a pretty good video. Let's see what's in this box and see whether or not what the contents of this box is actually worth the $50 that we paid over at Too Many Games at the merch booth. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Come on, let's go. All right, here we are at the table, and here is the box. There is the large mystery box that was $50 at the Too Many Games merch booth. Now, I've heard pretty good things from a lot of people saying, hey, you know what? These boxes are actually like a pretty decent value. Um, but again, you never know what's going to be in it. The contents of each box are different. I have confirmed that. So like, it's not like you're going to get the same thing out of every box. So my box might not be like, um, you know, as good as another, or this, might, this box might be better than some others. But in general... I've also heard that the value is somewhat around there, depending on what you're looking for. So, let's dive into this bad boy and see what we got. So, we're going to open the lid in here, take a quick peek. There we go. All right, and let's start pulling some stuff out. All right, we got a shirt. And it is the Too Many Games 2023 shirt. So, it is the official con shirt. Uh, for Too Many Games of 2023. Too Many Games does what other cons don't. Of course, it is the, uh, the Genesis um, the Genesis uh, like slogan, which is kind of cool. You know, it's a neat logo. That, of course, is the 2X that it says it is. Yes, yes, 2XL, yes, yes. Very cool, very cool. All right, awesome. So we, there is a shirt. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, let's get this thing out. Oh. That's pretty cool. There is a bag in here. So this is like a tote bag, it looks like. Let's see if there's a, let's see, little handle here. Little thing to put, I guess, like your, like a business card or something in there maybe? That's kind of cool. Little thing on the side for a water bottle. Um, let's see if there's anything in here. A slider maybe, this is a thing for your phone, I think, a pouch for your phone. Well, that's pretty neat. Oh, there, there are things in here. Let's see what's in here. All right. Anything more? There's nothing else in here. No. And then we've got the strap, of course. There's the tote strap right here. Very cool. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Nothing else. All right. But that's actually not bad for, like, taking it around. Taking it around the con and getting some swag or whatever. There's some cool uh, things here. I guess these are <laughs> happy hour at the local places. That's funny. PJW Copper Lager, huh? I don't know. All right. So I, I don't know where this place is supposed to be, but okay. You can go to a happy hour. It's kind of funny. A Pizzeria Uno kind of thing. This is over... Um, in Oaks, PA, which is where the uh, the convention center is. So you can go to a PC Arena Uno and get $5 off, your kind of thing. This, uh, oh, hey, this, look at that. It expired. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, in 2020, I guess this is the 2019 slash 2020 thing. Um, final Boss, Too Many Games, 2019. That's your Final Boss badge. Like, let's show you all the times. You know, 2 to 10, 11 to 10, 11 to... 5. Actually, I think they shortened or oddly extended hours for too many games this year. These these hours are definitely different. Final Boss After Party at Arnold's 6 to 11 on Saturday night. Oh, cool. And of course the Game Genie uh, thing, which is cool. That's neat. And then you've got your, your monster lanyard. Monster energy lanyard. Very cool. Very cool. I'm actually going to hang that up. Even though I wasn't a part of Final Boss that year, uh, it is kind of cool to have those things. 
got a cool pin. This is the uh, Too Many Games Final Boss pin, I think, um, of 2019. Very neat. Very neat stuff. I like I like seeing pins and that kind of thing. I like I like having those kind of things. Put that there. And a one-off card, which is neat. You know, you've got the uh, the thing here. We can actually do some uh, retro wishes, uh, restoration stuff. Ooh, hey, here's some nice purple right here. Uh, put on a one-off card. We might actually start using this bad boy on the restoration. So very cool to see that. I'm actually going to put it right over here to the right for the next restoration. You might actually see that coming in next week. All right, cool. What else we got? A Frisbee. Very cool. Very cool Frisbee. I think we're, <laughs> like, value-wise... I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty there already. I'll put this frisbee over here. That's pretty neat. We're still not done though. All right, let me go back in. Another shirt. All right, very cool. This is the gifts for gamers shirt. I think this is a charity, very similar to that of like a uh, extra life and, and that kind of stuff. I forget exactly like what charity that is, but you know us here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions are all about good times for great causes. So I might actually have to investigate this cause to find out is if it is indeed a great cause. Um, and then we can start rocking this shirt and telling you guys all about it because we love doing that here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions, doing really cool things for um, for people's, you know, like the walk to end Alzheimer's and, and um, you know, the chalk walk and all sorts of fun stuff that we've done over the, over the years here. Um, very cool. Very neat. All right. Let's see. Well, we are still not done. There's still more in here. All right. There is a pair of glasses. That is, are they branded? Look at that. There are too many games branded glasses. All right, cool. We get nice little shades action. Pretty cool. We'll put that right up here. Let's see if there's any more stuff in here. Yes, there is. All right, there's little little things in here in this box. So let me just grab them all, see if I can get all, all of it. All right, is the box finally empty? Yes. All right, what else we got? We've got a Gifts for Gamers sticker, which is pretty cool. We've got a Too Many Games sticker, which is also cool. We have a Too Many Games patch, which is very cool. I like that. Might actually have to like sew that into a hat or something like that, because we have some gaming-related hats that are kind of bland. I might just slap a Too Many Games thing on there. And... We've got a Too Many Games Castlevania-based pin, classic pin on there. So that's pretty cool, too. So in case you guys weren't uh, following along on the thing, there was all of this here. You've got the sunglasses. you got a pin. you got a sticker. you got a sticker. you got a patch. I mean, at the merch table, I think that right there was 20 bucks or something, probably, 5 I think these stickers are maybe two or three bucks. So let's let's uh, be generous and say that they're two. So that's four. This is probably five. This is probably five or ten. Um, I think they're actually ten. So so let's just say this is nine. That's nineteen plus. So that's twenty-five at least. Maybe even another ten for the glasses. So that could be thirty something. I don't know, probably five bucks for a Frisbee. These shirt shirts are between 20 and 30 bucks. So that's that. The tote bag is probably 30 something alone. Another pin. So that's another 10. I mean, this badge doesn't, you know, these are just a thing. And then you got another shirt, which is the con shirt, which again was like 20 something bucks. So did we reach the $50 worth of value in the box? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Um, and also, will I probably purchase another $50 large 2XL mystery box in the future? Well, let's go to the wrap-up. All right, guys. So, we got, we got the box. We opened the box. We found out what was in the box. Now, would I buy another box at another time? Yes. Yeah, I totally would. Um, because that's, that was awesome. That was really cool. I mean, I, I like the, the stuff. I can always use a good t-shirt. Um, these side bag things, this, this stuff here, like that, 
like you know it's pretty good quality you know it might actually like wear and fade over time because they're not like you know these are the things you would get like in a collector's edition video game kind of thing if you guys know what i mean um you know it's like sometimes you'll get uh i actually carry around a bag um that uh is from defiance the game defiance that has a bag that has a material just like this it's been a steady trooper but you know like sometimes the if you put a lot of stuff in it, the edges here, they start to wear and let's tear and stuff, and stuff like that. And then here, the inner pocket on here is the, uh, is like just the inner, inner stuff that you would find in like a Jansport backpack or whatever. But that's actually like the, you know, the, it's actually the, the, the main part of this bag. So you never know. You put a lot of stuff in here that might start to tear or rip. Um, but you just got to be careful with it, right? But I mean, that's cool. The cool logo thing. Like that's, that's neat. I like it. Um, that's definitely cool. I like the fact that they put stuff in here for, um, you yeah, know, like uh, local, I don't know if this local or, or even national chari charity kind of things. It was like gift, gifts for gamers things. Again, I'm going to have to look that up. Um, but that definitely is cool. And again, stuff that we love doing here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions love, um, you know, calling out stuff for good causes. And, um, and if this is um, a good and or great cause, um, you know, I would definitely love to follow that more here on the channel and then maybe even incorporate that into stuff that we do, um, as in our walks and all that kind of stuff, right? You know, and you get your patch and your cool shades. I mean, I wear glasses, so these things, you know, like mean like next to zero to me, but you know, it's just like, we're not going to be rocking this. I have prescriptions. So even if I was going to do this, even at a pool or something like that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to rock one of these. My kids though, and my kid, um, my oldest might, might run around with these and they're actually kind of cool. They, they don't feel bad, um, putting them on there and then uh, like, you know, random, random Frisbee action, right? Like, I mean, come on, like, that's kind of fun. Um, you know, toss it around with the dog in the backyard, just, you know, um, he'll tear it apart though. Well, it's my, <laughs> my dog is not friendly to, uh, to Frisbees, but anyway, um, that was pretty cool. It was really neat stuff. Um, what do you guys think down below? Let me know down below in the comments if you uh, think that this uh, this pantheon of stuff is indeed worth uh, 50 bucks. Would you pay 50 bucks for a large mystery box of too many games? Should you go there? And well, you know what? Do you think I should? Should I make this an annual thing and see like if you know, like should I track it? Get a large mystery box each year and do it a box opening and then tell you whether or not the value is going up and down. Let me know. I'm probably going to go to too many games every year that I can go um, in perpetuity. So let me know. Let me know. So with all that being said, it's the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. So we have to do one thing and one thing only, and that's thank the members of the Good Times Club. And again, since we're down here in the open zone, I don't have my computer, so I have to remember the 10 names. Can I remember them all? Let's find out. Thank you to the Ever Canadian. Thank you to George Games. Thank you to Chris Westerman. Thank you to Phantom Fiction. Um, thank you to Crimson Cross. Thank you to Skeletrex. Thank you to Lloyd R. Jim. Thank you to Papa Pete. Thank you to The Intellivision Gamer. And thank you to Karsten. Got them all. Got them all again. Um, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. Thank you guys all for being members of the Good Times Club because, with, again, without you guys, um, you know, all these cool things might not be able to be happening, or like all the cool special videos and that kind of thing, the restoration show and all the things that are yet to come um, that we are working really hard on behind the scenes. Thank you guys so much for all that. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching again. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy guys and keep it locked right down here for more Too Many Games coverage coming real soon. See you guys.
rtfc.bakenicecream.com.